Hey there, you're on 1700 with Jack and these two guys. Calling all cars, you might recognise them. How are you? Very good, good. thank you. Yeah, um, you've, you're in the middle of your big tour around Australia at the moment. How's it been going? Really good, man. Yeah, it's been it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. and the crowds have been going a bit crazy. But obviously, it's uh, for the second album, Death of the Dead Man. And this one was released really quickly after Hot Hot Fire. Um, you don't really have much downtime, do you? During um, doing a couple of support acts as well. Uh, did you? What time did you have to write the album? I think pretty much straight away after we finished the first album. I think, um, we had in the back of our minds the entire time about the whole second album syndrome and all that kind of stuff. So mm. did the um, did our we like released Hold Hold Fire and then um, straight after that we went to ACDC tour in the Brisbane and a bunch of other shows like that. So we didn't actually get to do our own album tour until kind of a couple of months after we released it. Mm. But um, yeah, it was just kind of as soon as we stopped playing shows, if there was any time in between, we were always just trying to capitalise on what time we did have. Yeah. Just because we are always so busy and always playing so many shows, so it was just kind of whenever we could, just try and try and write as much as we could. So. And then obviously your second album, Syndrome, you were saying then, uh, you've managed to, I guess, get past that with, you knocked up number 20, I think, on the RA charts for this one. And yeah, it was good. I think I think the whole, like, pressuring ourselves was kind of, a lot of inspiration came from it for the song, so mm -hmm. it helped, I guess. And it is still a really strong record as well. I think uh, you've gone into a little bit more production, though, with this one, you produced it with uh, Tom Larkin. Yeah. yeah, and how was he to work with? He's now your manager, is that right? Yeah, yes. well, he, he, he was as well, yeah, like for the last album as well. So, um, yeah, but um, yeah, I think this time around, I, I think we we're just way more prepared for the recording process and knew what we were up against, I guess. And um, yeah, so it was kind of like we had more fun with it and just playing with tones and mm. and just yeah, doing ridiculous things in the studio. And because Tom, Tom did and the first <laughs> album as well. He did Hold Hold Fire, so we already had a relationship with him. So it was kind of just a matter of it was there was. Um, there's no awkward moments of trying, yeah. trying to get to know someone while you're, while you're working with them and stuff like that. So, and we all kind of had a set goal and all that kind of stuff. So we, we knew what kind of end product we were going for this time around. So mm -hmm. yeah, it was it just fast tracked a whole bunch of stuff. Um, and one of the tracks you've layered uh, a lot of vocals on, I'm pretty sure you took about 32 takes. Or yeah, yeah, there's, um, I think there's fireworks and hurricane, like the yeah. middle eight there. Um, yeah, it was pretty crazy. It was like, cause we wanted, we wanted to go for that, like a, yeah. Body yeah, my body Valentine. Yeah. Um, that kind of like, because they do that like ridiculous layering of vocals just mm. to get that kind of haunting sound. So, how does that go live? How do you kind of work oh, that out? Oh, we haven't been playing that song. No, we haven't been playing that song yet. But I think I have to like work out a technique of singing 30, 38 <laughs> times at once. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, it be uh, see what happens. And I noticed just before as well, you were cutting some fairy lights off. You've gone into a little bit of uh, stage production there. Yeah, yeah, we're trying really. to bring some other elements to the live shows yeah definitely i think we've got like a ridiculous amount of lights coming in today so yeah yeah just to warm the crowd yeah. so it'll, it'll warm up warm yeah the crowd, i reckon we'll lose a few kilos tonight yeah. <laughs> and with this one just being released um it's about a month oh it was april was it or august uh we released uh, was it august 5th yeah, yeah, yeah that's right yeah um so you've obviously only had a couple weeks on this one already but uh is there, are you writing, you said you were sampling songs for your pre, for this album on the previous one in the live show, so you're doing that? Yeah, yeah. You're getting back into the writing process straight away? Not, not yet, no, like it was, it was a lot different this time around I think, so. Um, you might have a bit of downtime. Yeah, I mean, like we're definitely, <laughs> no, we're no. definitely looking at um, booking straight back into rehearsal after this tour yeah. and just, yeah, writing again for her album, so. Awesome. It's a never ending process. So. Yeah, it is, well we look forward to hopefully seeing some overseas tours as well as the third album but this one right now is amazing number 20 well done guys and yeah, uh, cheers. it's all it's all definitely been well deserved as well thanks cheers. for buying it <laughs> that was going on cars i'm jack crane you're on 1700